Hi, I'm Andy McDonald, and I've been working with the Fund for Public Interest Research since 1983. I started as a canvasser in Boulder, Colorado. We've put together this video to share some important perspectives on the work that we do. I hope you enjoy it. There's 6.5 billion people on the planet. Probably only a billion people live in societies that are affluent enough or free enough where you can actually go door to door and criticize the policies of the government and not get arrested for it or get shot or put in jail. Um, there are people on this planet who would die for the opportunity or chance to do what we take for granted. I think that canvassing is an absolutely essential part of building grassroots democracy in this country. You know, most people don't roll out of bed and think about politics, and they're not even necessarily thinking about um, specific issues that impact them. They're thinking about how do I get the kids off to school, how do I get to, to my job on time, how do I get the bills paid. Canvassing allows the issues to be brought to somebody's home, and, they, and it brought to them in a um, method that gets them to understand that these are issues that as a community we ought to care about and that we need to take action on. It's really important for our society that you are willing to go out there every day, knock on doors, talk to people about stuff that you care about and stuff that they ought to care about. I think one thing that canvassing does is it interrupts that sort of stasis or saying stop, pay attention just for a moment, let me at least tell you what I'm thinking. If you're interested in social change and making our society a better place, I think canvassing is one of the most important strategies out there. Uh, Like-minded people should think about uh, banding together and uh, influencing uh, uh, the public realm and that our democracy depends on that. Canvassing is one of the kind of purest forms of direct democracy. The act of canvassing brings those that we canvass into the political process. I think a lot of people feel pretty cynical about our system, frankly. You know, they feel like there just isn't a place for them to make a difference. And I always thought that that was the most exciting part of canvassing, uh, was telling people, hey, actually, here's a moment where you can do something. You know, so that was always the moment that I loved, was the moment when the kind of light went on in their eyes and they saw, you know, people see hey, citizenship still means something. Canvassing has made me a, a much more optimistic person. Even after 16 years uh, of doing this work, getting out and knocking on doors is, and talking to people about issues is still one of the best parts of my job. Seven of my 24 state directors started as canvassers. Two of my five top national staff started as canvassers. The president and the secretary treasurer of my organization started in the canvas. Well, at Move On, I mean, a lot of our senior staff came up through the canvases. Before I started canvassing, I was very shy. Uh, you know, definitely into environmental issues. It's what I studied in college, so I knew about all of the problems. Um, but I certainly wouldn't go out and talk to strangers about it um, and ask them to help out on these issues. In fact, I would rarely get into conversations with my family or friends <laughs> about issues that I was really passionate about. Um, so now I feel like just through canvassing, I'm able to, I, mean, I talk to 40 people a day about these issues. Before I started canvassing, um, I was already political and engaged in the world. I was angry. And so I think canvassing actually mellowed me out. I think canvassing made me happier because it was an opportunity to actually take my fire and my passion and my commitment to those issues and actually do something productive with it. Um, the experience I had as, as a canvasser and as part of the Campaign for Safe Energy really helped me to develop the skills um, to do the door-to-door -door campaign and to put together the grassroots campaign that has been critical to me getting elected to both the House of Representatives and to the State Senate. And the reality is everything that I learned there I use and apply Daily. You can study with the most brilliant professors, but the notion that you yourself as an individual can go out literally into the world, neighborhood by neighborhood, town by town, and recruit people into important campaigns that can take on the powers that be and that can promote the public interest is not something that you learn 
in the best classrooms in America. I knew that I wanted to do campaign work and political work, but I also knew that I didn't want to sit at a desk and I didn't want to file papers and I didn't want to get anybody either a cup of coffee or alphabetize their Rolodex. I wanted to get my hands dirty and really do some some actual campaigning and some real work. Canvassing has made me infinitely more confident in my own opinions. The fact that for a living I go out and talk to people, tell them what I think, and then get them involved in something that ultimately impacts them too is incredibly powerful. I've often said that if I saw a group of 10 people and I didn't know much about them, but I knew that one person had been a canvasser for a sustained period of time, and I need to rely on one of those people to do something, just about anything, the person I choose to do that would be the person who had been the canvasser. Well, I've been doing public interest work for 22 years. There's nothing that has prepared me better for public interest work than the work I did on the canvas. And in my life, the skills that I learned as a canvasser and a canvas director, I use on a daily basis. Learning how to organize, it is probably without a doubt the most valuable skill that I currently have and I developed that skill over a period of 10 years as an organizer with the fund. If nothing else, the one thing that canvassing and canvass directing does is it teaches you how to get something done no matter what the odds are. And that is incredibly valuable experience and something that not everybody has to draw off of. And you just know uh, it's, people come out of the canvas being battle tested. They come out with a really intuitive sense of what moves people. They come out being able to juggle a lot of details at once and uh, manage programs and manage budgets. Uh, and they just come out basically having done all of the things, the whole skill set that you need to have to be an effective organizer. Every conversation that a canvasser has is an educational opportunity to help us change the hearts and minds of America. What we miss and lack right now is the political will. In my mind, canvassing and going door to door, engaging people is the key component to building that political will for us to actually be creating a livable and sustainable future. Uh, we would not be able to be the organization that we are today had we not been working with the fund for the last 10, 12 years on acquiring new members, renewing our existing members, and building the vital support for all of our conservation programs and uh, the neighborhoods that we were canvassing were represented by a moderate Republican who, uh, well, after the entire summer of knocking on doors in, uh, in this, this gentleman's neighborhood, we had a sit-down meeting with him. And, uh, and he said, please, if, if you can make the phone call stop coming, I'm going to sign on to the bill. We inevitably, unconsciously subsidize our opposition. We're subsidizing, you know, the big uh, oil companies whenever we fill up for gas. Given all that, I feel like it's only a matter of justice that we can just go door to door and ask people to give money directly towards something that they actually do believe in. We're outspent, you know, I don't know how, how many times over and over by special interests. If it's, you know, big oil companies or the pharmaceutical companies or polluters, uh, they just have hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars to throw at these fights. They can run full page ads. We may never have that level of resources, but to have the crucial funding, I think, is incredibly important, and that's something that the fund brings to the table. The, the perks financial support comes from tens of thousands of people writing small checks, small in comparison, um, really creates stability and independence for the organization. So the perks are not dependent on a handful of rich people whose interests may change, you know, the next year. And I know as an executive director, I'm very envious of what the Pergs have in terms of their base of individual donors. You revitalize and reinvigorate the democratic process. Uh, in simple terms, sometimes you just give people hope that um, we can put the world on the right track. It all comes down to what each of us decide to do with our days, our weeks, our lives and you're taking a really important step by working on the canvas. Every conversation, every point of contact that you have, it's like a ripple and it really will carry that person to the next conversation that they have with someone else and they start to engage other people. And I think that it's really important that canvassing gets the credit that it deserves, which is we are one conversation at a time really changing the world.
for you who are canvassing now, I thank you. To an extent, our future is in your hands.